Hi, good morning. Well, the weekend was Dolly Con and I am completely exhausted. If you don't know what Dolly Con is, it's here in the UK and it's in a beautiful, beautiful town. Uh, it is a town, Lincoln. I think it's a town, I, but I think it's got a cathedral, so I don't know if that makes it a city. Not quite sure there. Please correct me either way. Uh, but basically, it's in Lincoln. I've been going now, this is my third, this could be my fourth time absolutely love it it's a great way of getting people together who are all like-minded it's like a, a closed i can't think closed convention if that's the right word so you buy a ticket you can't just come in you have to have already organized it because there's meals and things like that so it isn't one of these where you just turn up on the door you do have to buy the tickets and the tickets probably it won't be long before they'll be going up and believe you me they go so so fast now i'm a stall holder as well so i'm going to put a few pictures on the end as well as what i'm going to do next um so you can see as you know i crochet so i've been crocheting like a demon to get everything done and i had a wonderful day with the stall i had a wonderful day with the as an attendee it is just great and it's nice to see people you maybe not seen for a year or so and things like that as well and great to meet new people again who are all like-minded and it was great to see a few people who watch me on here as well so hi which was that was that's really exciting when people do that it's great so what this video is going to be about is what i got i can't even pick up what i got i mean i can give you little ideas um and there's some silly things there's some clouds and of course we all save before we go to dolly con to make sure we can do a nice bit of shopping which is what i did so i'm going to show you some of the things i got some i've not even properly opened myself so i'm quite excited about doing that i've been very restrained i've had a little peek i must admit but i have been restrained you should, i don't know whether you can hear my my voice is going a little bit um so i've had a bit of a sore throat with probably all the talking etc and also i'm not quite sure how the sort of sounds going to be on here the quality today because i've lost my microphone it's only a little tiny one that i put in my phone but it wasn't a cheap little tiny one that i put in my phone so i've got to go through all my boxes because when we came in we were just so tired i just dumped all my boxes and i've got to sort them out because i've got to get things on my website back on and things like that because obviously people take business cards and then they want to look at your website but all my cindy stuff etc well all my doll stuff is still in boxes so i do need to get my act together spend a few hours on the website and there will be things going back on there so please be patient with me but if you were there and you saw some of the things and you were wanting them you can still contact me either via my Oct buddy on facebook or my email or drop me a message here or my instagram you can get in touch with me in various different ways oh dear i'm talking so fast i'm wearing myself out Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what I bought. So we're going to go top down so you can have a little look. And then I'm going to pop some photos on the end, give you an idea of what the stalls were like. Because, of course, the stalls, um, it's just amazing. Like I said, the stalls for you to go shopping. Um, there's a really great cosplay. So people are dressed as their dolls with their dolls. Oh, that's just amazing. Uh, my son did some of the videoing and photography for the event as well so that will be coming up at a later date or i will pop links for you to see things as well because there's different things different ways you can view these so it's just a great day and i just had to share it um and also we got to see the new cindy's uh obviously it came out last year the new cindy but we got to see the this year's new and improved there's been some improvements on them as well so we actually got to see them in the flesh plus it's it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so i'll pop some photos of those on at the end as well so stay with me and you can have a little look now if you enjoy my videos please like subscribe and share as always we always say that and if you people who follow my crochet don't worry i am going to be doing some crochet soon i've already got one thing ready but i did so much crochet and getting things prepared for dolly con i think my hands might have dropped off but we will be getting on to that anyway so don't worry christmas is coming i have to get lots more crochet done i need chocolate orange covers i need little toys i need little gifts there's so many things i've got in here that we will be doing so i will crochet again i promise but we do have a few dull things coming up and obviously because of the convention so i will see you in a couple of moments 
top down not a couple of moments why do i say that it's not a couple of moments it's straight away for you guys it's a couple of minutes for me because i have to move the camera around and everything but i will see you in a second top down to show you some of my goodies and they are amazing i'm so pleased with them i will see you in a second well here we are with my wonderful collection of items that i got at the convention please excuse my nails i actually painted them up i mean they were all beautiful for saturday i don't paint my nails very often but i thought well you know we'll make them look nice just for once and they look great and then i started picking them off because i realized i had no nail varnish remover so we're nearly off on all that one we've got a few to go on there and my thumbs well we're not even going to talk about it but i was so excited to get this done i can't be bothered to go out and get the nail varnish remover before so i had to get the video done so as i say just ignore the nails so as you can see here i've sort of layered them out when you go to the convention I've got so, so a few of these now each year. You get your bag. And as you can see, this one says Lindum Colonia because the theme this year, because they do have a theme every year, the theme was Roman slash Greek. The reason being is Lincoln is a very much Roman town. You know, it does have all the sort of sites for that. So that is why the theme was followed. So this is the little bag that I got this year. So it is in the white and gold again. That's why I was going for the gold. And here is my Dolly Khan badge. I mean, just look. I mean, don't you think the artwork is gorgeous? Um, the artwork is from Rachel. I'm hoping I'm going to say your surname right here. Godfrey. I always get a little bit wrong um because she does some of the art well she does a lot of the artwork she works with the new cindy play range as well so you'll see a lot of her artwork around when you do buy the dolls but she does do the logo for dolly con as well so i've got this gorgeous little sort of what they call lanyard isn't it that's what they're called with my name badge in the little bag i got a little figure now this again, it's all Roman based and look how cute is that. I know exactly where that's going to go because that makes a really nice 12th scale ornament. So I know I'm going to be sorting that out for one of the doll's houses. So let's see what's under this bag. I'm hiding things under the bag, aren't I? So we'll pull the bag to one side and we'll probably make a massive mess here with everything. Let's try and do it organised. So I think I'll go with the most obvious thing here which is the blithe well she's a fakie blithe i think we all know that but that's great i have a few of these and i know a lot of you use them to actually do um sort of face-ups and turn them into one of a kind dolls things like that absolutely love them so i have got a few i will get a real blithe one day that is my aim i have a real midi blithe but not a real blithe i am going to do it eventually so a little bit of saving for that one but i just loved her hair just look, can you see the pink running through the blonde there i'm probably going to cut it a little bit shorter because it's going to need quite a bit of brush in there but i do think she's lovely obviously we have our eyes i didn't actually look what our eyes did we have the gray we have the blue we have the pinky color and we have a pink pink she's very similar to one of my others that i've got but it was a hair color more than anything else now a lot of the items at dolly Con, because a lot of them are vintage are second hand items there are some new things as well but a lot of the dolls because a lot of these the collectors are series collectors and they're wanting that sort of the retro doll they're wanting the nostalgic doll and that is what i've got a lot of i didn't buy a cindy this year which i would have normally i was um in and are in but i have quite a few but i have quite a few the same so i wanted to look for something different and I, I just couldn't i couldn't really find that that's something you know what it's like it has to feel right and it wasn't but as soon as i saw this this pretty little girl here, I had to have her. So some of the clothes are probably going to go on her. So we might keep it to one side and we'll get her dressed as well. And I think I'll go with the loose items that are on here. Of course, we had to have a Dolly Con t-shirt. Isn't that cute? I wonder if she's going to have that one. I was going to pop this dress on, but that'd be quite cute, really, because she was the one I got at Dolly Con. So perhaps she should have the t-shirt again with this gorgeous gorgeous artwork i have some shorts now i've got to remember everybody's names because some of them i know them as instagram names rather than personal names or i always forget the personal names it's weird that's the other thing at dollycom we all get there and we all know each other by either our avatars or our page names and things like that so when you meet you're like 
Do I know you? Yes, I do know you. It's a good job we have name tags, that's all I'm going to say. Now, these little shorts are from, as you can see, the Jolly Dolly shop there. So that was an easy one. Didn't need to worry about that one. And I've actually been eyeing these up on Etsy. But I knew, obviously, I was going to Dolly Con, so I was going to wait. So I was really pleased when she had them. I have some of her other shorts like this, and they fit so, so well. Mine are on my Cindy's. I love green. Mm, possibly green. We'll go with the purple um but i just needed green shorts when i saw them had to have them so we have some little shorts i also got a little dress from jolly dolly let's get into this i love she has like a lot of um sort of vintagey feel things but not vintage does that make sense you know they sort of that retro feel i love this little i th i think that is gonna look best on my blythe do you not think i think it is i don't know i just felt that that was going to be her dress i think it will look great on her i love the sort of short line the a line on the blythe they look really cute oh i also did get some hands with my little blythe as well and i also got some little shoes now the shoes uh were from um the person who actually runs the stall and oh i can't believe this how can i not remember dolls dolls emporium she does amazing hair products and you know saran and for rerouting all those sort of things don't know whether they're going to fit this girl because i was again thinking cindy i think i might struggle for her um but it will definitely fit one of my other girls and it might fit her it's just sometimes the plastic is a little bit hard just warm it up a little bit and sometimes that can help <laughs> apologies Mel for not remembering the name of your shop. How could I not? Mel is the organiser of Dollycom. So obviously you see her products everywhere. And some of her products I have bought. I like the shoes. Uh, but I will pop a link. I promise I will put some links for all these people down below. Even if you want to sort of have a look at what they do on Instagram and things like that. But they're really cute. I really do like those. So we'll pop them there. You might not be able to wear them, missus. But the last thing I got from Jolly Dolly is this now this is a design the fabric is amazing and it was a collaboration she did with mamzelle magazine one of the other people who do go to dolly con so again i can pop a little link down below for that and the magazine is gorgeous now she did a range of dresses and there was a limited edition and i missed out so i was a little bit upset about that because i really would have liked the dress but she made the little bags as well i mean look at this it's on this card so look we've got like vintage cindy's here and i hope you can appreciate the bag here can you see the detailing on it and what the actual fabric is we're looking as i say vintage cindy dolls here on the bags how cool is that now that was made by jolly dolly but as i say she did it with a collaboration with mamzelle as we can see here and mamzelle is a magazine that you can buy for yourself it's not a, just for dolls you can get them for dolls as well i don't want to open it not and catch it i hope i'm hoping this hasn't got wet actually because um some things in my bag did get wet so we have they think they're more for um you know for display look at this Thank you for your order. Um, but I will definitely pop a link because you can get the magazine and it is brilliant. So please have a look at that. These are great if you're doing dioramas, you want to do photographs. I can say, oh, look, she's looking at Mamzelle magazine, things like that. So I'm going to pop the magazine in there. Perhaps I shouldn't have pulled at that. Uh, that's uh, bad on me, but never mind. It's fine. I'll sort it out. I actually like the card is on as well. I think that looks quite cool. And I want a great way of packaging, isn't it? So we will put our Mamzelle magazine there. Now, you know what this is. You can see what this is. This is a vintage piece. Look, that's um oh look, it would have been at, at Tesco all those years ago. How long ago was Tesco about then? I don't know. Where we live, we didn't have a Tesco. We actually had an Asda at that point. It was only later in life I actually discovered Tesco. But yeah, it would have been six ninety nine at Tesco. If only, that would be great. So it is a wall unit, as you can see. The box is in quite nice condition. I don't really do boxes. I'm not that bothered. But I will keep it because it's in a nice condition. And as you see, it's a Cindy wall unit. And I got it for £20, which is really good. And it has the accessories in it. So let's get it out of the box. Come on out. I'm going to get the accessories out first. That might be easier. Because again, I don't want to damage the box because it is actually in quite nice condition. And we'll wiggle it out. Like I said, because I've not got my microphone, I'm not sure how noisy things are as well. So we have a basic wall unit, which is 
what it would have been. But as one of the other people at the show actually said to me at the convention, that, well, it's great for scenery because you can use it for a front room or she uses it for haberdashery so you can make it look like a haberdashery shop unit. It's quite versatile, so I'm quite pleased I got it. But I've got all these goodies as well. So you can see that. You don't really need to see much more of that. My table's getting very messy now. But let's have a look. Let's just shake it all out. Let's shake it all out. <laughs> I am making a terrible mess. Oh, what's that bit? There's lots of tiny weeny bits. I don't want to lose anything. I'll keep the bag over there. I've just spotted something else I've not <laughs> I'm not showing you yet. So, oh, look at this. Now, the how awesome are these? Look at that. We have little records in sleeves. I would actually like the Cindy uh, record player. It's not something you see very often, or you do see it very expensive. But there is a record. Not well. I've got a faux record player. I think it's actually a Fleur doll one, not Cindy. But there is one that's like a, a record unit, should I say? I think they're amazing. I love that. Even for them, I was pleased with it for them. And then we have all our little bits that would go on the side. So she's got bowls. We've got jugs. Look at that, a telephone. <laughs> that shows the era, doesn't it? We have a telephone. How retro is that? Really cute. Now, oh, do you think these might be oranges? This is fruit, isn't it? So we'll say this is a fruit bowl because we have bananas. We have an apple. So, yes, we've got a fruit bowl. That's cool. Got a piece of paper. Don't know what that's about. But we have a plant. We have books that do actually... You know, actually, are they meant to be in there? Because, look, that looks like it's a faux book. So you put it on a bookcase. But then it's full of all these little tiny sort of notebook books which are very cute i'm not going to force them in i think that's where some of the paper came from i think that might have been a broken one i'll see if i can repair though so she's got all these little books and all these little bits that go inside she's got a glass there to go with that what's that i don't know that looks like it's on the bottom do you think that's for the planter it could be we're going to say it is we have another plate oh the books are in them how cool is that because quite often with plastic toys or any toys you go oh well that that's your books you put them on the bookcase but they've actually got little books in them and some of the little books have got uh, sort of images on them some of them are plain but uh, I will have to, I'm just going to have to spend 10 minutes or so sorting all them out. Let me move that. Uh, we have another cup. We have another part that's out of the book. Now, this is cute. I've already got one of these. Now, if you're my age, you've probably seen them. They are, then I don't think they were for Cindy. I don't know who they were for, but I can remember having one as a child and being absolutely fascinated with them. Because, look, the picture moves. You know, technology wasn't about then. Not the technology we've got now, put it that way. You probably have a working TV in there nowadays. But yeah, this was fascinating that it actually moved. It looks like the, uh, is it a cowboy shoot? Yeah, it looks, it's nice, nice subject matter there. It looks like a cowboy is shooting somebody, but there you go. Right, we've got, I'm not sure what that is. Now, again, are they coasters or are they cups? Let's put them in there. We have another book. Now, we have something here that's metal. I really don't think it goes with it, but it is absolutely adorable. Can you see? That's the top. It's metal, so I'm presuming it's not with this because, you know, this sort of fits the plastic sort of look. We'll look on the front of the box in a minute. And then there's all these little tiny weenie turned goblets. I would put this at 12th scale, which is great for me because I have all scales. Um, which yes, that's funny because my surname is Scales. So <laughs> it was destiny. It was destiny. So yeah, these little turned cups and things, uh, like little goblets and that, aren't they gorgeous? I would put them at 12 scale, but they did come in with everything else. And I've look at the front of the box. I'm 100 percent sure they wouldn't be there, would they? No. So I look like I've got everything. I've got different box. Oh no, look, they are. They don't feel the right scale for Cindy. Those though. Perhaps they're not, I don't know, perhaps they're shot glasses or something. Shot goblets, can you have them? So, yes, we've, we've got everything, haven't we? I think, yes, because I've put, the fruit should be in that one and that jug and bowl should be together. We have the records, although they do look different, but I think that was the case anyway then, that you would get that. So, yes, I've got absolutely everything in there. So, yay me! Really, really pleased. Now, again, I'm just going to shove everything to one side without knocking things off my table. It's a good job it's quite a wide table because you don't want to watch me putting them back in bags. That's not very interesting, is it? We've got bits all over the table now. So, we also have another commemorative thing. You have to buy commemorative things. You have to do it. And we have, again, 
the beautiful artwork from Rachel and we've got the Lyndon Colonial and the date and I have to have a mug I got one last year and my man's got all my pens and pencils in so this one's probably going to get used for the same thing because I don't want to use it as a mug because then it's likely to get broken so I do use them to pop maybe maybe I pop my crochet hooks in this one that would be quite good because I have a lot of crochet hooks so I've got my commemorative mug now this is the last one now this one I knew I wanted as soon as I'd seen it on Instagram anyway I love bags that are hand sewn like this so I thought yeah that's great great price love it love the chickens how can you not love the chickens how cute are they there's a little fishy badge i didn't realize there was going to be so much actually in it this i think was my biggest to me bargain of the day absolutely love this so let's have a look there's so much in here i, I have had a sneaky peek i know I, I wasn't going to but i couldn't help it so let's just pull. Can you see all this? When I picked the bag up, it was heavy. I'm like, wow, why is it heavy? Uh, but yes, it was heavy. So I've got a great bag, which means I can use it for my crochet, which I'm more than happy with that. Now that's actually fallen out of something. So that gives you a little clue. So we'll go for this little bag. Again, look how cute this is. This would be great for my smart doll for her to have as a bag. Or I can, I don't know, perhaps keep stitch markers in it or something like that. Because we've got some sweeties. Sweeties are always good. But the bag is lovely itself. Absolutely love that bag. We have some hand cream. Always need that, as you've noticed recently. I'm not too bad now, but I've had these horrible hands. And in here, we have a very cute little scrunchie. Again, a dolly scrunchie. It would look quite nice on this one, wouldn't it? That would fit her. And also, we have a Van Gogh. And we have some little sort of sticky notes which again is great and all in a nice little bag i love the packaging it's just it's just so cute i just yes i just keep going on about it right it's the bag that keeps giving now this we have a dolly sleeping bag how lovely is that love the colors love it all it rolls up so perhaps if cindy or the other girls wanted to go on a sh on a camping trip because i have got my camping stuff and my caravan and i never get doing any photos so perhaps this is going to push me towards that and again we have another one but this one's slightly sm slightly small slightly large oh it's not i thought it was another one of those look at me eh? oh look at that isn't that lovely it's a bag and i love the colors the colors are perfect for me love its shape very vintage very retro oh this bag is just so nice so so nice right let's have a look oh look we have more goodies like i said this is one amazing goodie bag don't you think and this is probably one of the best goodie bags that i've ever ever had in my life i hope she does them next year because i will definitely be wanting one. Oh dear i sometimes wonder how old i am right ah this is a trick one i can't get into it so we have oh this is cute look at this look at this what's it say what's it say this is oh look at this i love how she does a lot of things that add real vintage do you know what i mean so this little, little bits of information like eggs in aspect sort of recipe and things like that it's just i don't know i just think it's just so cute and this is lovely and it also matches this the fabric look at that in the little pocket love 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 it all and we have some goodies here that she's put together i can't thank you enough for this parcel we have little cookies now you remember these are the marks and spencers one i have had some but uh, i didn't get them all so they are really cute what we've got we've got an ice cream one. Oh no ice cream i could read it would help it's mushroom soup do you want some mushroom soup missus no have some bread with it as well and you could also have maybe what we got sparkling cider you could have some sparkling cider with it and these are actual vintage items these so that's even more special um i absolutely adore i mean i make a lot of modern things and i do love them but i it's really really have quite a thing for the vintage vibe as well so i'll pop them over there we have are we bath salts i think we might be does it smell it gives the impression to sniff here excuse me sniffing on camera yes it is it's you can smell the lavender i love that lavender uh we've got quite a few uh, lavender plants in the garden and i just absolutely love the smell of them 
I will have a proper read at that later to make sure I'm putting it in the right place. But it does give me a little clue. There's a bath there. It feels like it's more like a powder. I'm not going to open it because I don't want to use it yet. So um, it'll probably go all over the table as well, knowing me. But yes, that smells great. Can't wait. That's going to be in the bath. Right, we have... The oh, dear, there's one there I'm missing. Ah! I just can't believe how much is in here. This is... Yes. Oh, and that... Wait till you see. Kind of over the moon. Right, we have in here we have some little little cocktail brollies. We have two little cocktail brollies. We have a lovely scarf. I like that. That would look cool on you as well. She's going to be wanting everything. And we have a little vintage dress because again, it's great to get these vintage items. It looks is it, is this handmade or is this vintage? I don't know. Um, because the person who does this, she makes a lot of amazing things as well. So I'm never quite sure because her work is so good. You can't really tell, you know, sort of whether it's uh, sort of uh, properly made or in fact, so to be honest, when they're handmade, they're actually better made, aren't they? So we have a little outfit there. We have a ribbon which we can reuse. I always reuse my ribbons. And another bag. What's in the bag? You have been so generous, you know, with this goodie bag. So, so generous. And we have these are vintage. Look at those. Look at those. Wow. Those are stockings, aren't they? And again, I love the presentation. It gives that sort of authentic feel. And we have some little knickers. We're always short of knickers in this house. That sounds terrible. Not for me, for the dolls. And we have another vintage dress, I would say. Yes, you can tell usually. You know these fasteners. You can usually tell whether they're vintage. And it's on a gorgeous, proper, original Cindy coat hanger. I just, just love those. I'm, I'm going to have to try those on. Not me, because obviously they wouldn't fit me. I'll try them on the dot later. I can't wait to see what they're like. And we have another one. And look at this. You can see what I was saying about like the background, how good it looks. And again, these match the same fabric as the apron and the chicken. Oh, look there. So we've got a map as well on the back of it really interesting packaging that's something i really need to up my ante on my presentation of my items i'm crinkling away here aren't i because i'm not that good at presentation um i can make the items i don't want to rip this um excuse me i just used my teeth there and it's really not helped at all should have had a pair of scissors i should know better because i always have a pair of scissors for my other openings and um, i haven't actually got a pair of Oh, there we go. I've got a piece of cellophane in my mouth now, man. Let's just get that out. Ta da! I got there. Made a lot of noise, but I got there. I can't really stay at this table at the minute. And oh, she's done what I've done now. This is something I did do this time. I did improve on my packaging because I did actually stitch my items on, which I think is a great idea. But I just love how this. Because I actually want to read what's behind here as well. Because you can see it says back to the 70s. Um, so. You know, 70s were the days of platform shoes, Bay City rollers, smock tops, feather cuts, to name just a few. So I actually want to read that as well underneath, which is really cool. Look at this. We have a chicken top. I'm going to have to find some girls to put these on. As much as I'm going to put the Dolly Con pictures on, I might need to dress some people up here and put these on. Or I might just pop them on my Instagram because there's going to be so many pictures on here. Cool shorts. Love the shorts. So we have shorts and top set or if it was a bit cooler she can wear some nice vintage flares and she has this real i just love that like chicken designs aren't those chickens just adorable um so yes we have chicken design dress as well so we're gonna have to find girls to dress all these in you know it's gonna take me days to get sort of back to normal after dolly con because it's just yeah my head is just spinning still and i know a lot of other people are feeling exactly the same because of what a good time we all had so I'm going to pop that to one side on my amazing... can't believe all that was in the bag, actually. It's like, how did it all fit in? Because there's this little tin. Now, this is extra special. Now, if you know, you know. And that's all I'm going to say at the moment. So if you open it up. And again, this sort of takes me back to my childhood. I love things that were little and in tins and things like that. Look what I've got. And she's got a little chicken cushion. And she has a little bottle. Now, this is a little Ari doll. Look at that. She's even got a little quilt, a little padded quilt and a cushion. Now, as I said, this is a Ari doll. 
Now, this feels different to mine. Um, I don't know enough about them, <clears throat> excuse me, to give you more information. But uh, we do call them sort of Jason dolls, some of us that go to Dolly Com. Yeah, I've never felt one with a squishy body. I'm going to have to do a bit more research on these dolls, actually. Or if any of you guys do know, because my others are hard bodied. I should be squishing your head, should I? That's not very nice of me. But she's got this very cute little dress. I make a lot of clothes for this size doll. Um, mine's called the Gillian Jason range. Um, so it's very popular. It's very popular at Dolly Khan. And it's just super cool. Great for photos. There's some amazing, fun photos for these people uh, on Instagram. So again, I'm going to pop links, etc, etc. I will check permission. That's why I'm not sort of saying a lot of names and things on video. Because I do want to check a couple of permissions before I actually put details on. But just look so cute. Isn't she not cute? She's smaller than my others. I'm sure she's smaller than my others. That's why I'm wondering if she's a different sort of range. But she clearly is the same range. But she looks shorter. I think perhaps it's Jason's little sister isn't she so cute so when I owned that I was really not expecting something so special because she is special she's very she is vintage she's really old um she's written obviously loved all the years and she's just wonderful just so so wonderful so all this ah came in this bag so the bag alone was a wonderful gift. Then I got a second little bag, Love Roses. So that was perfect. I got some amazing stockings. Can I get over those stockings? Some gorgeous vintage wear. I have some treaty things. I have some gorgeous homemade things. My voice is going again. I'm talking way too much. I have some more treaty sweeties. It's just, well, I just don't know what to say. It is the perfect package. Love, love, love. Thank you so much for this. And I will definitely be first in line for another one of these next year because it's just so wonderful. But everything I got is wonderful. Absolutely. The Jolly Dolly clothes. Love her Etsy's page. So I will definitely put a link on for that one because I know she won't mind because I've had quite a few of her items and the stuff is great quality. Love the wall unit I've got. I need to get some diorama work done. Love the black. I just love everything and i'm yes i'm so excited i want to spend some time sorting all this out now but i've got to finish the video with the photos so i'll get the video done i really do hope the volume's okay on this because as i say i, I will find my microphone it's just that at the end of the day we were all so tired i just threw everything in my boxes and it's probably sat in a doll sock or something silly like that because as i say marvelous day we had our main meal there uh, dinner time which was great because there was even a vegan and a gluten-free range which is always important and also because we paid for an extra sort of a, a bigger ticket for want of a better words um <coughs> oh, excuse me i'm definitely gonna have to stop talking because my voice is going we stayed for what we call the evening meal wow i had an amazing vegan lasagna absolutely beautiful and then a lovely dessert afterwards and it was so nice because then we'd all done our shopping we'd all relax you know I was driving so i didn't have a drink but you know people could have a drink things like that um and we all sat and chatted and it was just so nice so nice so thank you again mel for organizing this wonderful event it has been going on for a lot quite a number of years now it started more of a cindy con and then it's evolved into lots of different dolls as well so as you'll see there'll be a picture of my smart doll on the end as well who she got to meet another smarty as well while we were there so i'm going to leave it at that because you're probably fed up with me listening to me talk i hope you did enjoy seeing what i got because I, I certainly did i was like a kid in a candy shop and i will pop some pictures of the stalls give you a little idea of what dolly con is about thank you so much for watching Again, as I said before, please like, subscribe and share if you do like my things. And I will see you all very soon with some promised crochet. But I have something coming in the post. And the second it does turn up, I have to, have to, have to. Really excited about doing this. Need to do that video. So the crochet will get there. I think if I can get crochet done before the post comes, we might manage it. So I'm going. Thank you for watching. Please watch the actual photos, see what you think. Please pop likes, comments, everything. You know, you know how it goes. And I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye bye for now.